to join the fleet of U.S. military equipment, the Pentagon now plans to send two Iron Dome missile defense systems to Israel in its fight with Hamas. The U.S. had previously purchased the two Iron Dome missiles from Israel and will now send them back to join the Israeli military to defend itself against inbound missiles. The Pentagon spokesperson further added that other artillery ammunition alongside critical equipment will also be flown over to Israel in the following days. And with respect to U.S. support to Israel, the first shipments of military aid, including munitions, began arriving in Israel last week and continue to arrive on a near daily basis. This assistance is comprised of capabilities requested by Israel to include precision guided munitions, such as joint direct attack munitions, small diameter bombs, 155 millimeter artillery ammunition, and other categories of critical equipment. In addition, Iron Dome interceptors from stocks that the United States ha has in country have been quickly provided to Israel. And in the days ahead, we'll be flowing additional Iron Dome interceptors so that Israel has the capabilities they need to, us to sustain their Iron Dome defense systems and protect their ci citizens and cities from rocket attacks. The White House on Monday said it expected to fulfill additional security requests from Israel as quickly as possible. And President Biden promised replenishment of interceptors used by Israel's Iron Dome missile defense system, as well as ammunition, in addition to redoubling the U.S. military presence in the region. In August 2022, Israel said Iron Dome interceptor had shot down at least 97% of Palestinian rockets it had engaged during a weekend surge of Gaza fighting. Now, apart from deployment of Iron Dome missile defense system, America's first new shipment of armored vehicles arrived at the Ben Gurion International Airport on Thursday. The armored vehicles will join the Israeli Defense Forces and are aimed to replace the Israeli military cars damaged in the fighting against Hamas confirmed by a ministry spokesperson. Now, the shipment comes a day after the U.S. president traveled to Israel to offer support in the aftermath of Hamas attacks. The president pledged $100 million in new funding for humanitarian aid in Gaza and the occupied West Bank and said that he would ask Congress for unprecedented aid to boost Israel's fight with Hamas. Standing strong, standing united. 75 years ago, your founders declared.